We had the McDonald's, just left the uh, Chevy place to take our, uh, not, not Chevy. Chevy, excuse me. <laughs> the, the Dodge, Dodge place, they had to drop my truck off. We, Black Shannon, Mo Shannon, Mo Shannon Camp, State. State Park, mm -hmm. beautiful State Park, but if you look at the video, no one tells you about the hill going there. They got a hill that's called Beaver Road leading up to the campground. It's basically four miles straight up, just about. And uh, my and truck windy. And is windy and there's no shoulder. And uh, my baby overheated, the transmission overheated. Uh, it, the temp went up to almost 300 or over 300. So we had to actually stop right on the road, right on the hill, right in the middle of the road. We had to stop and let that thing cool off for about an hour before we can continue. And then we had to do that twice. So uh, we wound up, it happened to be close to where we bought the camper. And if you notice down the line, I talked about uh, when you're buying an RV, if you can find a good local place to get it from, a lot of perks come with that. Prime example, they came and picked up the camper and then put it in storage until I can get my truck fixed or another vehicle to go get it. That's what a local campground, does. I mean a local um, dealer. dealer does for you, stuff like that. I don't know if all of them does, but Bill's Happy Camper are the greatest. Heads up, beautiful campground, but it's a heck of a hill leading to the campground. So, you'll see more about the truck once we uh, find out what's going on with the transmission. Oh, and by the way, two days later, the truck running, like, it just came out of the dealer. The only difference is it didn't have, it wasn't pulling nothing. So when we brought it there, all kinds, when he plugged it up to the machine, all kinds of codes came up. So they know I wasn't lying. So, we we'll keep you posted. Good morning, everyone. We are in the Beast, and that is our 2005 Dodge Ram. We are- 2500 diesel. Uh, yes, diesel. <laughs> anyway, we are on our way to uh, pick up our RV at Bill's Happy Camper. Remember, they were nice enough to come and get the camper when we had the issue with our newer truck. Good. What were you going to say? 2,500 gas. <laughs> yeah. 20... What? what? 18. Yeah, 2018. Transmission went. Yep. So, we're still waiting for the parts for those. And like they say, don't build them like they used to. Tell me about it. But anyway, so we're on our way and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Keep you posted. Yep. See ya. Tons of inventory. Any signs you can think of. What? Oh. Uh. so cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Look, a bunch of homeboys chilling. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go find them. How are you guys doing? Good. How about yourself? Good. Let me go get them for you. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just got the side. I didn't do the front. You know, yeah, mine. Uh, go, go that way or around yeah, the yeah, other way? Come this way. I'll I'll just, different. I would like to go with you, but we got to get this fixed. So no, this is, no, you just got This ahead. is part, but then if you walk through a door back there, there's mm -hmm. another shop in Wash Bay, too. Oh, wow. Okay. So are you okay just kind of? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Thank you. No, no. You go ahead and do what you need to do. All right. doing good thanks you all are getting a lot of uh rigs coming in to repair truck that came to pick us up at the campsite.
squirrel was in this little spot right here. Alright, look who's coming. Look what's coming. You'll see it soon. Look what's here. basically replaced everything he said he took the transmission apart and replaced everything that's in it so we just got to keep an eye now on the temp the worst scenario said we might have to add another coolant uh, transmission coolant system to it but we're gonna run it and see what she does uh, now I got to find my uh, hitch reducer hopefully I took it off before I brought it to him or somebody don't walk away with it so we we'll keep you posted. We got our uh, the glamp out coming up. That's gonna be our first major trip uh, with the new transmission. So, so we'll let you know. <laughs> you got it. All right. Thanks to Sal. Yes, yeah, Sal was great. Sal was great, and the dealership was good. Brown Dog Dealership. No problem, as far as storing the thing they made phone calls on my behalf to try to get the parts so yeah they were good and um, frankie is the person that did the transmission. transmission he even came out and talked to me about it talked to me about 15 minutes about the transmission trailer you know what i can do so we'll see all right <laughs> let me know you're ready it's going now. Hey guys, this is Snapshot. <laughs> so Risha's on the camera. We wanted to give you guys an update. We uh, got our truck back. Um, remember we was telling you about the transmission problem we was having. And uh, we are on our first trip. So we want you guys to stay tuned, letting you know that we're gonna be looking at some beautiful campgrounds. And we're gonna keep you posted on some of the nicest places that you can visit. Right now we're on this trip, we are actually going to two, I think they call them glamp outs. Mm -hmm. uh, one is given by Land and Sea, yep. and the other one is given literally by uh, Adventure Bandits. Um, we already uh, went to the Land and Sea, it was a beautiful gathering. Uh, they had a band. Uh, some Risa will be showing you a video on that later, but uh, it was a real, good upbuilding as you would say trip so today we actually at a state park and uh this is in ohio ohio just to let you know i forget names and places so when i look over to the right that means i'm getting the information from some reason but we'll talk more about that later just to give you an update on the truck uh when we first tell you dodge told us that they wouldn't be able to get the parts in until probably november but we was consistent, stayed on the phone, talked to them. They gave us a quote, a part specialist uh, with us nagging them. 
and the people at the dealership want to give a shout out to um, Sal. Sal. Sal was great. Uh, I was calling him every day. He didn't get frustrated, didn't get mad. He helped us through the thing and they got our truck just before we was taking our, uh, uh, two days before we was taking our, uh, this trip here, we got the truck back. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, yes, Darge do have uh, transmission problems, we found out later. But just to give you a heads up, all the trucks out here, Darge, Ford, Chevy, you better take care of it as good as you can because it's almost impossible to get parts that's not going to take two to three or four weeks out. Uh, we found out the same day that we went in with our truck, a couple of hours after we gave them our truck, another 2500 Dodge came in with a transmission problem. As far as we know, he's still there. And this is over almost two, two months later. But it's not just Dodge. Talking to other people, talking to uh, parts place, they are having a difficult time getting parts. So your truck and stuff need maintenance. You better stay on top of it. That's just a little friendly advice. But again, we are on the road. Thanks to Sal and the uh, people at the uh, parts specialist. Later on, we'll put her name up too. It took us five weeks, six weeks, and we're back on the road enjoying our camp. And the truck is running beautiful. We just did, uh, I think it was 700 miles, and uh, she's running great. So hopefully, uh, she continue to do so and we will continue to bring you other campgrounds so stay tuned we got some real nice places that we want to show you talk to you later this is snapshot Sunrisa.